this is Tina Varelli, and I'm going to show you how to make mashed potatoes with your KitchenAid stand mixer. So here I have my Artisan 5 quart stand mixer. I installed the glass bowl so that I could show you everything that's going on inside the bowl. And here I have five pounds of gold potatoes. Sometimes they're called Yukon gold. Sometimes they're called butter potatoes. And you want to make sure that um, after you boil them very tender, you put them, you drain them, and then put them back into the pan so that they're nice and dry. So there's no moisture here in the bottom of the pan because um, nice dry potatoes will uh, whip up nice and fluffy. So five pounds, you can see they're steaming hot, and you want to make sure that you cook them until they're very soft. See how it breaks apart there? Um, just with the spatula. Not totally falling apart in the pan, but um, just follow the recipe. I give you all the great tips there. So I'm going to use two different beaters here. I'm going to use the flat beater just to break them up, and then we're going to whip them later with the wire whip. So mashed potatoes are very personal for people. So um, you can really customize this basic recipe to your liking. So I'm just going to start off here on a low speed. And the potatoes are nice and hot, like I said, and tender and dry. So I haven't added any kind of uh, dairy or anything to them yet. So I just want to kind of break them down a little bit. It will knock the volume down in the bowl. And I'm just on the lowest speed. And you get a really nice potato facial here as a bonus. So I'm going to just scrape off the beater. So this beater is coated with a white coating. It makes it easier to shed the food, as you can see here, and it makes it dishwasher safe. And I'm using this great spatula, a KitchenAid spatula, that kind of fits right along the lines of your beater there to help make that super quick. So I'm just gonna pop off this. That's gonna go in the dishwasher. Let me scrape down here while I have that off. So this is a tilt head stand mixer, which makes it easy to get in there to the bowl. So this is your wire whip. I'm just going to install that, give it a twist, and then we're gonna put that on the stir speed there and just break them up a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Don't worry if they get all stuck in the beater there. That'll come out once we add all of our liquid in. So for the liquid, I am using uh, part milk, part half and half, a two cup total, and one stick of butter, and I melted it all. You want to use hot liquid, your hot dairy, whichever dairy you choose to use, and your butter um, when you add it with your hot potatoes. And here I'm adding um, one teaspoon of salt. I use coarse kosher salt a half teaspoon of um, freshly ground black pepper. You can knock that down to a quarter teaspoon if you like. And I use a half a teaspoon of white pepper. It's, um, you can buy it already ground, looks like this. I really like that in my homemade macaroni and cheese and in my mashed potatoes. So we're just gonna whisk those together there. So this is a two cup total but I like to keep just a little bit extra on the side to really get it to the texture that I like. So I'm gonna add about half of this in, and then I'm gonna put that beater head down. Make sure you always lock the beater head in. And then we're just gonna start mixing that up. I'm on the stir speed right now. And the potatoes are absorbent. They're going to absorb that liquid pretty quickly. So really just a couple turns of the beater. And I'm gonna add the rest of that for that two cup total. Let's make sure we get everything mixed in. There's some of my salt at the bottom there. Okay, so lock it back down again. Put it on that stir speed. And it's going to whip up. It's going to look like it has too much liquid, but just wait until it whips and absorbs. It will be wonderful. So I'm going to stop here and scrape the bowl. And just make sure all the chunks are mixed in. 
and that's how you're going to get those really nice creamy smooth mashed potatoes so you know you could stop now if you'd like your potatoes a little bit lumpy but we really like ours kind of fluffy and smooth my daughters especially so we're gonna um, just continue to whip them a little bit more once you have all your liquid mixed in you can really bump this up to a higher speed here i'm going all the way to speed 10 and i'm just going to whip it for about 30 seconds to a minute i'll probably stop and scrape the bowl again to make sure i get all those lumps in so this is incorporating some air into the mixture that really makes them super light and fluffy so I'm just going to stop here again, lift that head up, oh my goodness. Now if you like your potatoes a little bit drier, um, I like them more like a puree texture. If you like them a little bit drier, you could, oopsies, you could start off with um, maybe one and a half cups of your liquid mixture and just really customize and add to your liking. But this is just how I love it. So I'm gonna go on high speed again, just for a little bit. You don't want to overbeat or any kind of potatoes are going to get gummy, but this is looking just about perfect. So high speed again, not more than a minute. I'm gonna turn that off and these look creamy and delicious. Look at that, I have a little peek there as if I were making meringue. Let me take the bowl off here and I can show you that yummy, yummy whipped potato texture. So delicious. So here it is. Look at that delicious texture. These are creamy, these are fluffy, these are light. Again, I used those golden potatoes. Um, sometimes they're called Yukon gold. Sometimes they're just called gold. Sometimes they're called butter potatoes. So that is a potato that has a little more starch, not as much starch as a russet, but it's not one of the waxy potatoes. Waxy potatoes hold their shape too much and they're not great for mashing. They're better for roasting and sauteing and boiling for um, like things like potato salad. So that is that. So what I would do is if I wanted to make these in advance, you can put these in your slow cooker, spray it, put it on the lowest setting, and it'll keep them warm for one to two hours if you're making these on a busy holiday. You can even make them ahead of time, spread them out in a casserole dish and warm them up in the oven or you can just go right to the table. So I'm gonna dot these with a couple pats of butter because there's nothing better than scooping into your bowl of mashed potatoes and having all that yummy melted butter inside. I'll probably sprinkle these with a little bit of chives, but let me give these a taste. Mmm, so smooth, so light, so creamy. With your KitchenAid stand mixer, this is the best way I have found to make large amounts of mashed potatoes. This is five pounds, that's enough for 10 people. So I hope you enjoy making mashed potatoes. Um, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and share. Um, you can get the recipe on my website, epicuriecloud.com. And let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for other videos you'd like to see. Thanks so much. Happy cooking.